<laughs> Say hello to the vlog. <laughs> My man's having a good time here. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's currently 5.24 a.m. We're up. We're going to read a book. We're going to get our day started. And we're officially in the office. The work day has begun. It is 7. 59 a.m. Honestly, it's been a little bit of time since I did one of these vlogs, so it's a little bit awkward for me. Even now, I'm having a hard time just getting the intro <laughs> out the way, but... Can't get nothing right this morning. Here's what's happening. Number one, we have two meetings today. One is at 10 a.m. We have a, uh, a interview with a possible team member. I think her name is today Sophia. And then we have an 11 a.m. meeting with a lender who's a local, like, private money lender, not a private, hard money lender. And every time there is one locally, I always like to meet with them, whether we're going to work together or not, because I want to learn about their fees. I want to see, like, if maybe they're a better option, et cetera, et cetera, because I haven't yet found one that I, I, that I really enjoy working with. I don't remember the last time I made a vlog or what was happening in that vlog. I believe I may have just mentioned I'm starting a team or was in the process of it, whatever the case was. But it's been at least a couple weeks since that's happened. In the meantime, I've interviewed a few people. I'm in the process of starting my own team. It's gonna be something unique and I'm super, super excited about. And I would love your guys' opinion on the name. I'm calling it the Gazarian Group. My last name is Gazarian, that's why I'm calling it the Gazarian Group. But I'd be curious to hear your feedback on it. Do you like it, do you not like it? Do you think there's a better name out there for me? Uh, you know, please let me know in the comments and while you're at it, like the video and subscribe. Ooh, that was smooth. And as always, let's get a to-do list together and go from there. I have to start something new, which is in the beginning of the week, I actually put together uh, what I'm going to call it weekly tasks. I put goals, but I didn't want it to seem like something that I should achieve. It's something I need to do. So my weekly tasks, and I'm going to see which one of these I could get done today and get it up there. Did I mention that we lost out on multiple offers yet again? It's getting real frustrating here, ladies and gentlemen, but we never quit. We never surrender. We do have two pending deals, and later on today, I'm going to tell you guys about this one deal that keeps getting postponed. It's basically a $9,000 check being held for ransom by the seller's attorney. I'm on the buy side, and it's so damn frustrating. I am about four days away from driving over to his office and... Uh, you know what, let me not incriminate myself. Let's just say we're gonna have a face-to-face -face conversation in about one week if things don't start changing. But a quick content-making tip. Do you notice how this says Chicago? I don't know if you guys can see it or, or whatever, but having small little props like this in your, uh, in your videos goes a long way because if someone's watching your video and they don't know where you live and it's not a video that's local content, and let's say you're just talking about the process of buying a house, well, guess what? Now they know where, you, where you're from. <laughs> Alright folks, the to-do list is complete. I even put the date up here. But anyhow, here's what we got. Look up houses for buyers, make local YouTube video, post two TikToks, get uh, one of my rental listings on the market, 10 a.m. meeting, 11 a.m. meeting, check on uh, one person's deal, the one that's very frustrating. We will talk about it while we're checking on it. Make a five-year recap video. That's right, I completely forgot about that. My fifth year anniversary was March 1st, so it's time to make a fifth year uh, you know, review. And then reach out to a, uh, another private lender I heard from uh, on a podcast that does a lot with investors. And then I want to post something on Instagram. It's very simple. And I ran out of things to do at six, but I always write down 10 things. And I force myself to find 10 productive things to do to push my business forward every day. And sometimes when you can't come up with something, that's what forces you to basically do that extra work and come up with an idea that you wouldn't have done otherwise because you know what? You got time. One thing I've been doing to keep my hustle strong, and especially in the, in the recent months, is I take all my money out of my checking account and I put it in a completely different account. I, don't, I do not access it no matter how little money I have in my checking account. And right now, like I mentioned earlier, we have a $9,000 check that's being basically held at hostage that I'd expected to have last week, right? So I'm in a position where my checking account, where I spend most of my money, is... Only I think I have like twenty five hundred dollars left in there, which is an amazing feeling because it got me tapped into that fear of going broke again. So I was like, wait a minute, I do have money, just not in this account, but I don't access it. So I'm kind of forcing myself to get deals going and work harder, da 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 da, because what I see is what I spend, right? So if I only see twenty five hundred, well, the reality is, you know, come April first, 
that money is going to be gone. So we, we better hurry up and figure out a solution to my income issue, right? And I recommend you all do the same because it's easy for us as agents to have 15K in the bank and then not do anything for three months. And that is how you have the roller coaster that I had for four years. Never happening again. No, no, no. I should also mention we have two closings this month. So we will be fine. <laughs> but it's just nice to see a low balance on my on my checking account because it make, for some reason I had no problem waking up all week. Right, well, all week it's Tuesday, right? But yesterday, today, even Sunday and Saturday, I was up early getting my work done, and that's what it takes. You got to find out what motivates you, ladies and gentlemen, and kind of just press into that. And you just need a lot of self awareness to basically figure that part out because pointing out your weaknesses is not an easy task to do. Matter of fact, that's a great video idea, right? My weakness, there it is. That's the video idea. My biggest weaknesses in business, boom. And I think, you know, when you share your weaknesses, it allows other people to be vulnerable and share their weaknesses and recognize what they're doing wrong and get better. And that's all we're trying to do here. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget that. Now, let's look at houses for these buyers and get this listing on the market so we can shift our entire focus to get more business. So I'm actually giving you a call in regards to the paintwork at the, at the house. Okay. Uh, so I had a painter come out, and this is like a pretty trusted painter that we've had. He's always been super reliable. He's always been really, uh, I would say, cost effective. I mean, <laughs> he comes in. He comes. He comes in pretty much lower than anyone else. And so far, his work has been pretty good. He's actually the one at Phoenix Janet's place too. Okay. Um, he quoted the place out. We asked for an entire. On the interior paint, including the doors, the trim, the ceilings, the walls, and any sort of small wall repairs that need to be made throughout the house. Yeah. He'll patch them, he'll patch them up and everything, you know, just smooth everything out and everything flat. And then we include the garage because we're going to knock out those shelves and whatnot, but through the garage lock is a fucking mess. So, <laughs> yeah, we, we would need him to, like, go in there and at least, we told him, like, at least spray it or something, like, make it look good, you know? Right. And, uh, and he was like, okay. He was like, he's like, yeah, because we do this all the time because most garages are pretty much the same condition, but he came back at, uh, 3,800. That's including all the material. So the issue is I was looking through my budget the other day, and even after the new wire, I'm still going to be short, like, four grand. So if I do my math right, this is gonna get to like if I spend thirty eight hundred on the on the paint, the total cost for this flip is gonna be like fifty k, um, and that's a steep number to think about because that means my profit is like barely twenty, you know, if I sell at that three fifteen number. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're down bad, man. We are down bad. I'm like looking because I'm like I also I know we did the math. I'm like, what, what figure did I forget on my, uh, when we did the math on that cardboard that I'm low money? Well, what, well, there was the behind the scenes of, uh, of the flip. If you guys saw the most recent video, I'd tell about how like, so we're way over budget. We just, we're over budget my over budget. <laughs> like paint, yo, paint is expensive. Let me tell you. Okay. But at the end of the day, what can you do? Right. You got to pay for professionals to get the work done right. So you could sell for top dollar. And if we could get it on the market by April 1st, I got a really good feeling that we can get top dollar. Okay, the rental listing is officially up. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Boom. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I got this rental listing. It was out of the blue, and let me explain. Always, always, always spark conversations with people when the opportunity presents itself. Here's how I got it. So I'm at, I'm at home, and I realize my dog won't stop barking, right? I'm like, okay, there's clearly somebody in the hallway. So I go and I open the hallway door and who do I see? My, uh, my neighbor across the hall changing the locks. I'm like, why are you guys changing the locks? Oh, the tenant abandoned the property, it's been a mess, man, we can't figure things out, da 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 da. I'm like, well, you know I'm a real estate agent, right? He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, if you need help, man, I work with a lot of investors, here's my card. Uh, just let me know, I'm happy to do it. This is, I think, on a Tuesday and then on Thursday I get the phone call, hey, can you please uh, you know, rent my place? I'm like, well, it's gonna be first month's rent, $1,500. He said, no problem. So boom, just like that. Uh, you know, we got the rental listing and I don't do rentals on the tenant side anymore But if I, there's a listing I'll take it because it's easy money and I'm gonna hand it off to future team members or for, for now I'm gonna give it to Kevin uh, if he wants to make extra cheddar and now we can look up houses for buyers One thing I have learned is you don't want to look up houses for buyers too early in the morning because other agents haven't yet listed all the homes like throughout the day homes will come so I find myself constantly checking for new property Okay, we are almost done with the uh, looking up houses for buyers. Now we have a quick 
team interview, and I'll be right back. Are you going to have a seat in uh, any Nice pencil. Oh, you like that? Yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just finished up one interview, and we have another appointment at 11 o'clock, probably about a six-minute gap in between. We're still in the process looking at pastas for our bars. We have not yet finished. Okay, the time is 12.10. We just finished our second meeting of the day was with, uh, with the lender because I had some questions about private money and they do fix and flip loans because you say, you know, I want to learn the industry for clients who don't have the capital and that we can use that platform as well because the one I have is charging way too much on the closing side in regards to like closing expenses, which is the lending fee. So I was looking for somebody new. And now it's 12.10. I'm preparing an email one of my commercial clients for his business to his landlord. I basically, uh, there's an English barrier. So what I do is I write up the email for him. I, then all he has to do is copy and paste it. And I single-handedly renegotiated his lease, saved him a bunch of money on everything, and uh, gave him a five-year extension. Just virtually doing that myself through the, uh, the broker. I don't get paid on it because this is a family member. <laughs> so I do it. However, still a client, still a businessman. And, uh, you know, I've been helping him with their commercial needs as well. Learning a lot throughout the process. Then we will finally finish up looking at houses for buyers, go for lunch, and then we get to making content for the remainder of the day. Okay, friends, if the time is 1.20 p.m., just, I don't wanna say I came back from lunch, but I went and picked up my lunch and now I'm back. I will take the next 40 minutes and completely clock out and just relax, enjoy my evening, and then once we're done, we're gonna make the five-year recap video and then we'll make a quick local video for the YouTube channel because we're gonna get that up on Thursday as well. I don't know where the time went, but it's now 2.44 and I actually got a phone call for a referral from an agent in Texas who found me on Facebook. So when I say you have no idea where your deals are gonna come from, I have no idea where my deals are gonna come from. So that was phenomenal. Um, and it's gonna be a listing, so it should be very nice and easy to take care of. And it's a multi-family, it's literally right <laughs> in my in my little niche. I don't know if I should make the five year recap video right now because I want to be in a suit when I make that five. I want to I want to look so fly when I make that five year because that that lives forever. So maybe instead we do something else today. Maybe today we do um, let's see the TikToks. I'm gonna post on Instagram. I've already reached out to this private lender. I'll be honest, the private lender I met with earlier today was kind of a waste of time, but you gotta waste some time to learn something. So we're gonna circle five year recap. I wanna save that video because it's special. I wanna give it some thought. I don't wanna just, you know, get on and go. But I do have make a local YouTube video on this thing. And these are these are things I always drag on, but I already took the notes. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the camera and uh, get to talking. So let's see how this goes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the audio might actually be better on this clip because I still have my mic in. I was trying to film this local video, but unfortunately, number one, I'm not feeling the rhythm. Number, number two, see, no rhythm here. Apparently, my SD card is already running out of memory. I don't know how this is possible, but I got some deleting to do, which I will do. So I'm not going to film anything to dead past. Well, I'm going to film the vlog, but I'm not going to film this video because the direction I'm going, I definitely want to make sure I sit there, I get the right angle, and just talk into the microphone all day, every day. So this is going to be a tomorrow video, which means we will be suited up and ready to roll. And here's a tip. If you're making content that lives forever, make sure that you dressed proper your hair is done right your beard is lined up or if you're a girl I your makeup is right or I don't know what I don't know how girls get ready I'm sorry I don't have that perspective <laughs> but that's all I'm trying to say <laughs> now revisiting the to-do list the only thing I have left on this list is post two TikToks and post on Instagram I already know what I'm going to post on Instagram so it's a matter of seeing if we could come up with content ideas for TikTok and I, if I can't then we go into the drafts and we post something from there I actually posted TikTok yesterday it's already at 25 thousand views so phew okay okay there has been an update on the day it's 354 I'm almost done with the TikTok you got let you guys know which one I'm working with I made this TikTok with absolutely no idea what the caption was gonna be so here take a look so I, I recognize the trend and then basically I put flipping and I put rentals which one's better then I go like this and then I point, then I go like this, and then I point. And the concept is what I like, okay, I go like this. Need to make money fast? Flipping. Need to, you know, want to build long-term wealth? Rentals, right? So nice, short, to the point, 
and it's still education and still a little bit entertaining. So that's kind of the formula for all content. So I'm still missing the end caption, which I'll come up with later, but here's the revelation. We are going to the flip, ladies and gentlemen. We have to pick the paint color today. You saw the conversation I had with the contractor this morning. We were able to get the paint down, so let's see what we could do. <laughs> Say hello to the vlog. <laughs> My man's having a good time here. <laughs> all right, so now we're picking paint colors here. And Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down. That's way too many to think about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are leaving the flip and heading over to Home Depot where I need to get a copy of a key made and buy another lockbox to put on this rental. My phone has been absolutely blowing up from this rental listing and this is why if you're a new real estate agent, it is dumb easy to get rental leads. I have at least 30 <laughs> ready to go right now and uh, I don't want to deal with them. I'd, I'd happily give them away to anybody. So that's basically if whoever's on my team, I get these rental listings in the in the future, they'll be getting those. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are home, but the work is not over. We have to put this key in the lockbox, and we also have to make a phone call for a possible listing from this day of morning's referral. She told me to call around 5.30. It's 5.33, so we gotta hurry up and uh, make that phone call. Better yet, why don't we make that phone call in the car? I'll show you as much as I can. In case the battery dies, I'm doing my outro now. So thank you everybody for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys next week. If you made it to the end, let me know in the comments by saying, um, say something along the lines of always on the phone. And if you're interested on getting on the phone with me on a one hour coaching call, link is in the description. I keep forgetting to mention that to you guys, but it does exist. All right, let's call our friend Martha. Please leave your message for three, one, Shucks. two. Hello Martha, this is Aaron with Remax First. Uh, your niece, Julia, referred me to you. She had mentioned you guys had a uh, property in Cicero. You were you know, interested in you know, looking at to see if it's worth selling or maybe refinancing to invest elsewhere. So my name is Aaron with Remax First. So just reaching out, see how I can help. Please give me a call back at 847-31. All right, there you have it. So since I already did the outro, thanks for watching and I, I see you guys next week.